All right, you already know who I am. Y'all need don't need an introduction. I am just absolutely disgusted about how this, the Chicago Bulls have played. They have absolutely give me given me zero reason to make content about them. And people say, Michael, you're not a real Bulls fan. You don't do content on the Bulls. Well, what's their the re- what's their reason to do content on them? Unless it's important. When the I said that the Bulls were going to be so bad they weren't even going to make the play-in tournament, and obviously I was wrong. They were at least good enough to make the play-in tournament. They got embarrassed by a Miami team who didn't even have Jimmy Buckets. And honestly, I might have to stop doing Bulls content until they give me a full legitimately reason to do content. Because I'm going to be honest with you. And people could say that this is this is you being a fake fan or no, don't worry, you'll come back once they start winning. Like, what are the Bulls going to win if they continue to run it back with the same crew? With the same, with the same DeRozan, the same old... Uh, Zach Levine, the same Vucevic, like, it's not going to work. You're going to be forever a playing team that that even if you do sneak in the playoffs somehow, you're going to get eliminated. And let's be perfectly honest. The players obviously, like, the core is already broken up, and, and they just don't see it. Or maybe they do, and they just don't care. The Bulls will still, like I said, to all the Bulls fans that go, sorry, that go to fucking attendance, which the Bulls are the third fucking, the third in the NBA in attendance. Then why the why does this team give you fucking interest? Why? For you to put money in their pockets. To show up to the game. to For them to be mid on purpose. Do you want to know what the Bulls are? They're like the what the Dallas Cowboys are. They're just consent of living in the Michael Jordan era. Which... None, majority of the Bulls nation, including me, were not allowed, were not alive to see Michael Jordan play. But y'all are just loving to embarrass yourselves every time. There is no, there is no hope for this Bulls team. I'm, I, I'm, I hate to say that there is no hope for this Bulls team going forward. And people can say, oh, oh, you'll come back, you'll come back. Dude, there is there is no reason to do Bulls content. Like, if you go look at Bulls con- content creators, there's not that many because what, what the fuck is there to talk about? Except the same old shit. A team that's doing mid on purpose when we want to just blow it up. Like, I'd rather be the, the San Antonio Spurs right now because they're going to the, – the Spurs are going to do better with Victor Wambiava. They're going to – they're obviously building around a, a, a potential rising star. And who's a potential rising star? Kobe White can be it, but he's looking like a guy that you can build with, but he's not looking like a guy that can be a fran- – like I said, when you when you look at the Bulls, who do you see that's a franchise changer like uh, Jalen Brunson, the – Giannis at the Kumbos, the the Donovan Mitchells, which by the way, the Bulls are not uh the Bulls will not be getting Donovan Mitchell. I hate to tell you that for the people that want uh Donovan Mitchell. We're not gonna get Paul George, we're not gonna get Trey Young, like many other people are speculating that that that's what the Bulls are gonna be doing. And by the way, you're you're keeping Billy Donovan for the stuff of reason. And by the way, I want my flowers. I've been saying that the Billy Donovan move was not a good move. Which people want to say, oh, at least better than Jim Boylan. Bro, anybody, anybody could be better than Jim Boylan. 
And honestly, I'll take Jim Bo- Boylan over Billy Donovan. And honestly, I'll take fucking guard packs over fucking AK. Because at least because at least guard packs made it to an Eastern Conference Finals. What has AK a- a- Torius done besides we haven't even sniffed out the second round? At least guard packs got at least guard packs give some Bulls fans some excitement. We don't have excitement. We're just we're just being mid on purpose. And by the way, you fans that always content could continue to fill in the fucking seats. Why do you waste your time with this shit? The, this team ain't going nowhere. But yet you still like we fans drive drive to the games. We put our asses in the seat. We 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 waste our time with this shit. And the ownership don't give a fuck. Don't they don't care about the Bulls? They just care. They just care about what the fans put the money put the money where it is. And I and honestly, as much as we make fun, as much as the, as the Detroit Pistons were the laughing stock of the NBA this year, at least they're building something, and we can admit that the Bulls are not building anything. They're not. They're if it. If it wasn't for mid talent, they would obviously be the the, the laughing stock of the league. You just don't see it. And on and on, honestly, man, I already know what's gonna happen. They're gonna say, "Hey, you know, we we're at least we're competitive. At least we we made the playing tournament." Like, I'm sorry if you, if you're consent on making the playing tournament. And hoping that you're going to sneak it in the playoffs and re- and tell and doing what the Miami Heat did last year, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. At least the Heat had Jimmy Butler and Tyler he- Hero and Bam out of bile, which, which I, which, what do the Bulls really have? The Rosen's washed. Vooch is looking like the worst trade in NBA history. And Zach Levine, you can already cross that off. He's never, he's not coming back. So, anyways, like I said, it's just I, I might have to I might have to boycott the, the 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 Chicago Bulls. And people can say, oh, you'll be back. No, I'm not going to. Like this team has to give me a reason to do content on them. And until that very moment, I'm going to be skeptical of the Bulls. Do what do what Ryan Poles did. At least Ryan Poles is building a contender. What have you done? The the Blackhawks, they're looking like they have a future with uh, that no more overall pick. The Cubs, looking like they have something going. but And the White Sox, it may take them a few years before they start competing again. But the Bulls are just set. They just settle for being meaty uh, mid. And that is why nobody should ever pay attention to this team. Don't even waste your time. They should be paying you. And even if they do pay you, why would you want to watch this team anyway? For what? For what? I rather watch the, the uh, that 28 losing streak, or was it 27? 28 or 27. It don't matter. I rather watch the Detroit Pistons lose 28 straight games than the Chicago Bulls being consent for mid. And I have no problem saying that because at least the Detroit Pistons are building something and they're losing. What did the Bulls, what, what are the Bulls doing? Just com- as long as we compete, that's all that matters. As long as the fans put their asses in the seats, that's all that matters. But anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Hit the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.